The federal government is calling out one of the district's largest landlords, the D.C. Housing Authority. A report from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development says the authority is falling in, failing in several areas, from federal violations to mismanagement of funds and resident safety. Fox 5's Nana St. Neil Bonsu has more on these findings. They fail. They failed over and over again. Kaisha Davis has firsthand experience with the D.C. Housing Authority. I remember as a little girl when we first moved in that first unit in 1990, where the raw feces came out of the toilet in the tub and flooded our entire three-bedroom home. And says things haven't changed for her and the thousands of other residents living in the city's affordable housing units. In this 72-page report, the Department of Housing and Urban Development says the D.C. Housing Authority is failing the people they serve, from inadequate management, oversight of policies, operations, and funds, to safe and sanitary housing for residents, including proper inspections. Enough is enough, and people are tired, people are angry, and they deserve answers. Councilmember Alyssa Silverman is very vocal on the district's housing crisis. She says this report should be a wake up call. It's a damning report. Scathing. Silverman is calling for reform. We have to have a wholesale change in terms of leadership, uh, both of the housing authorities, uh, professional staff, and board. Uh, and we have to do better by our families in the city to house them. In the report, HUD states that DCHA's executive director lacks expertise in public housing management and recommends training. She's a nice person, um, but she has no expertise in housing finance, in public housing, in property management. And those are the key skills that we need for somebody in this job. Councilmember Silverman is working on legislation that will add diversity to the board that oversees the housing authority. This legislation would expand the board and give more seats that aren't in the control of the mayor's office. DCHA is an independent government agency that residents say needs to be held accountable. It's a failed system that goes unnoticed, goes untouched. My prayers are that everyone that has been affected family members, whether they're here or have passed away, that they get some type of dignity and justice behind this. Nana did reach out to the D.C. Housing Authority for comment, and we have not yet heard back.